So today, let's take a look at what we call the mechanical library at our storefront. This is where we do most of our publishing activities and our research. Oh, Bean leads the way, as always. So we're gonna start off here in uh, Megan's office. The color temperature's all messed up. I usually uh, keep the lights off. So when this was a German bar and fancy grocery, uh, there was a trap door here down to the cellar where they kept the groceries and this slanted wall was open. It was another entrance to the uh, rooming house upstore stairs. Uh, so you can see Megan built a couple of uh, bookshelves from the Anarchist Design Book where she stores her stuff and works at a desk from the Anarchist Design Book. There's a theme going here. Uh, most importantly in this room, Megan's very important. This is about woodworking are these shelves from uh, Equipto, which was a Midwest company uh, that made these steel shelving units. Uh, we buy these whenever we see them. Uh, sometimes we get them for 20 bucks, sometimes we get them for 80 bucks, but this is where we store all of our nails, all of our hardware. This is the reason I can sleep at night, is that everything is really well organized and mostly labeled. Those labels fell off. Uh, we also have these Equipto shelves underneath a couple of workbenches out in the bench room. Down there you can see a tool chest that I made to the wrong size and so it became the plinth for our Equipto shelves and the French tool rack that I built back when I was at Popular Woodworking which holds tools which is what it's supposed to be used for. As we move through the Roman arch, not original to the building, uh, you can see our library here uh, these shelves hold a lot of our woodworking books that we use for uh, research, plus our own uh, books uh, that we use for reference. Uh, these also have some highlights here that I'll be real quick about it. Uh, we have our original Rubo volumes, also in the black box is uh, Hulo, um, and also Bean. There he goes. What do we have to say to the people today, Bean? Hmm? You were just talking before. Also, one of my favorites here, this is a probably Dutch sign for a storefront for a chair maker, probably made during the 1800s, 19th century. A couple of carved chairs by my friend, Rudy Everts, who's extremely talented. Uh, moving up here, we also have a sample of oak from Jenny Alexander. This is what she used to teach people the ray plane and uh, all the other bits of uh, the tree when she taught her classes. And up on the top shelf, we have my collection of The Woodworker when Charles Hayward was editor, which went from the 30s all the way up until the 70s. As we move over here, uh, this is my workstation. A lot of times when we have visitors, uh, they say, hey, we'd really like to see your printing presses. And I say, of course. Come back and here we go. That's our printing press. Uh, most of our press work is done in Michigan and Tennessee. So uh, sorry, we don't have any big presses here to show you. Uh, I do have a very fancy Japanese flatbed scanner, which I'm very proud of, but I know impresses absolutely none of you. Over here, uh, part of my vinyl collection. This is of course where I live. Uh, this, this building, so I keep my turntable down here to entertain me at night while I'm working. Uh, most audiophiles would say my system is subpar, but uh, that's okay. And uh, this uh, was a coal-fired fireplace. It no longer works, uh, but we do have our letterpress chair poster here on the wall, which I really adore. Those of you who have been here before might be shocked at what you're about to see. This is the Klaus Scrudland Memorial Bathroom and Pupateria. Uh, these were crappy bar bathrooms when we bought it. And so we converted the uh, women's room into one nice uh, bathroom with a shower. So when students uh, want to shower communally, communally, screw that joke up, uh, they can uh, do that here. The other nasty bar bathroom was through this door and it has now become our little kitchenette and uh, slop sink. It's a stainless steel slop sink. So this is where we make coffee. 
uh, store our lunch and whatnot. This is where we store all our office and photography supplies. I know this is so exciting, but this is publishing and woodworking combined. And uh, through that door is our next tour, which is the beer garden and the electric horse garage, also known as the machine room. So I'll just ask Bean to sign us off here. Bean, anything to say? Nope. Bye everybody.